Raymond, here we are, your final ever World Championship Media Day. Is it all starting to sink in right now that this is the last one? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the last year um, went, went really quick. I can't believe that uh, a year is over now. Um, tried to focus on uh, on next one. I think I had a good run last weekend. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday it wasn't there. Um, I don't know why, but was overwhelmed by, by nerves and, and less concentration. Uh, but I, I still show that I can I can do this, you know. Um, if you look looking ahead to this uh, World Championship, is it realistic to say that I'm going to lift this trophy? No, it's not realistic, right? But the belief is still there. Like I, I played the last three, four matches on, on stage in my head. I know I can do this, but I'm going to work really hard as possible I can to, to, to put myself on... Uh, yeah, on this on this target because it's it's not going to be easy. No. You say it's not realistic, but this is probably the only sport where fairy tales and dreams can come true, isn't it? Yeah. Um, as a young kid of 17 years old, um, I always dreamt about to being the best or to being a part of a world championship. Not even thinking that I could lift a trophy one day. That that all came later. Uh, I still, I still have these visions as well. You know, it looks like I'm saving the whole year to 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 to, to play well uh, at, at the World Championship, and, and and hopefully it's going to be a good run. You know, what can I say to myself? You know, if I look in the mirror, uh, can I win one or two matches, uh, and, and then I'm satisfied? No, we all we all know myself. Uh, I'm, I'm only happy if I can lift that trophy. But if you give me a form now saying Ray. You're going to be in the final, but you're not going to win it. But you can't become runner-up. I will sign it straight away. That's why. That's how sometimes I'm so desperate uh, to to the hunger for 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 wins. You know, I, I can uh, I can win titles. I can win tournaments. But doing this in in front of the crowd and and the people at home during the World Championships because that's all that matters. All these titles, they are fantastic. But it all means nothing to lift a World Championship trophy. You talked about the nerves. Is it a different kind of nerves to that first one back in 1991, the very first time that you went to the World Championships? Yeah, I think so. It, it suddenly it overwhelmed me yesterday. I don't know. The, the first the first match yesterday went went too 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 quick, 10-2. Um, and I think I, 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 I wasn't prepared enough. You know, it went quick, quick, quick. And I'm always preparing myself well for this. And um, maybe it was too early for me. Um, played two games on a Saturday, played one game on a Friday. So this is the thing why I'm giving up, you know, like, like I said earlier. Um, I don't want this feeling anymore. They're playing three wonderful competitions, played play really good, good tournament uh, games and then suddenly go out with this, you know, and, and, and that's why I find it always hard on myself because you don't know, you don't know where it, where it suddenly where it comes from. And, and, and then the depression starts again and then you don't want to be there anymore and that, that's why I'm giving up, you know. I, I want the people uh, remember the, the, the great Barneveld than, than the complainer of uh, the, the guy who always has something to moan about, you know. When you look back at your five world titles, have you got a favourite one? Yeah, of course, the first one. Yeah, you, you thought I would say the, the one against uh, Phil. I, I think that one made, made me famous, you know. But the first one was always the, 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 the better one for me because then I, I could give, uh, give up my job as a postman. I used to work as a postman, we all know this. And because of that title, I could live for the first time in my life as a professional darts player. And uh, look what I've achieved so far. You know, uh, it went all great. A fantastic career. Not the best ever dart player ever. I'm not that. That's Phil Taylor and, and, and Michael van Gerwen. Um, so it's it's always hard to uh, to understand and, and deal with this every day, you know that you that you never ever the, the best player ever. So to me, five titles is just a statistic, you know. It's just like how good you were, but that's only ten years ago. If if you ever told me Ray after that final against Phil Taylor, it's great, but you never ever win a world championship anymore, I would say to everyone, I I'm not going to believe this, you know. You're mad. I'm gonna win three or five more, but that never happened. So I don't know why. I don't know how it comes, but uh, it's reality. Is that a disappointment? Obviously, because you're talking about this. The open, honestly, probably the first time I've seen this in a while. Is that is that a, the big disappointment that you didn't kick on from 2007? 
Yeah, of course. I, I never understood it, you know. Um, Circus Tavern, I, I played with, with, uh, with that phenom phenomenal setup, you know, with the slim flight. And, and it looks like the, the, the bigger the venues become, uh, the, 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 the less I'm, 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 I played well. Um, some good highlights, of course, winning, winning uh, the Grand Slam in 2012, winning the Premier League in 2014. But so many other times I missed out, you know, like like a bad World Championship last year, relegating in my, in, my, in my final year in the Premier League. Sometimes I feel so ashamed and depressed because of that, because why does this happen to me in my last final year, you know? Uh, not in the World Cup. With all due respect, Jermaine Wachimina deserved it because he was higher on the rankings. But I was still hoping. Uh, I played for my country eight times. I won four, four of them, you know, four world titles in, in the World Cup one runner-up and two semi-finals so I did it all good and I was hoping to get that uh, that last wild card for the World Cup so that that hurt but with all due respect uh, Jermaine deserved it and he did pretty well there um, I was not in a match play not a Grand Prix not a Grand Slam not in Europeans not in the League of Darts so it, it, this this was really a hard year really a disaster year you can you, you can say uh, and you don't want want many of them years in, in, in the future. So that's why uh, I made that decision. It, it, it's, it's OK. Yeah. When you look back at the 2007 final, was that you at your very best in the sport? Yeah, I think so, yeah. The, the highlights, 21-180s in the final. But even everyone forgets that, that even in the second round, it was 3-0 down against Colin Lloyd. And, and no one remembers that game, but that was an epic game as well. You know, I think Colin missed three or four match starts on, on single twenties, double twenties, and, and the bullseye, and another double twenty, I think, to, to, to kick me out. That game went all the way as well, three all, and and, and six five in the last deciding set. Uh, until the, the road until the final, I never drop a set anymore, and then three no down against Phil. At the end, it became I think someone told me 56-55 in legs. That match was. Uh, unbelievable, and I think I, I thank my popularity in the PDC to, to that game. Yeah. So many highlights as well. The nine data in 2009, the first one ever in a PDC World Championship. Things like that people can never take away from you. Can you still remember every dart thrown in that nine dart? Um, yeah, I think it was uh, was against Jelle Klaassen, and, and I never celebrate. And everyone thought that was strange because normally you go out, you go mental, you know, if you do this, but. Uh, the story was, I never beat it Jella on, on the stage, on the big stage. Of course, he got me in the 2006 uh, BDO World Championship final. Then one year later, when, when we played the um, tournament in, in Utrecht, uh, the World Darts Trophy, he beat me as well in the first or second round. So I never beat him on, on TV. So I was more focused on beating him than busy with the nine data. So I was full in concentration. And maybe when I became mad and celebrating that nine data, I thought I might losing focus here. And winning the game to me is more important than, than hitting a nine dart finish and, and celebrate. We all know that Adrian Lewis hit another nine dart against me in, in the Worlds in the first set, and I still beat him. So after that, he was gutted, of course, and he said, How can I lose this match? I had a fantastic nine data. But with all due respect, a nine dart finish is just one leg, five or one. And you have to win more to win the game, right? When you first started back in 1991, your first World Championship, we move on nearly two decades, and we're now selling out arenas, huge arenas in Germany, Holland, and between you and Phil, you've been the cornerstone of that. That must make you feel immensely proud deep down. Of course, of course. Um, like, like I said earlier, we, we never ever expected that, that, that this would, would, would happen, you know? Um, wow. Um, five million people were sawing my game on TV. We, we got a population in Holland over 16 million. You know, so every third person in Holland knows my name. Last time there was there was something on, on TV that 92% of people in Holland knows Barney, and and some common footballers, you know, really, really well-known footballers, 88%. So that says a lot, you know. Not not saying that we defeat football. We we're never going to defeat football, but it's it says a lot of how many people watch darts and, and knowing something about it, you know, like 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 Barney, and what we did for the sport. And, and don't forget the organization as well, the, the likes of Barry Hearn, Matt Porter, Dave Allen, all, all, the, all the people in the PDC. They're doing a fantastic job for years to put darts on, on, on the map for forever. And, and we as, as players are so important to, to, to move on and entertain the crowd. Just quickly, before I let everyone else jump in, 
it is your final year, but will the Barney Army live forever? Because it's become a huge part of the, the sport, and even when you're not in tournaments, they still chant Barney Army. So is this something that you think will live forever? I, th I think so because sometimes I'm, I'm watching darts as well and uh, I see they, they, I'm sitting on the couch at home and they're still singing Barney Army or, or, uh, or Phil Taylor, there's only one Phil Taylor so I, I think that, that will last endlessly yeah but, but yeah. New, new people are born you know within 10, 15, 20 years I'm not sure you know they, they, they don't know maybe Phil Taylor or, or maybe Raymond van Barneveld they will move on with the likes of Jeffrey Deswan and, and the Chris Dobies and, and you know, new new kids coming on on, on the block now, and, and they're doing a great job. And the likes of Phil Taylor, um, Raymond van Barneveld, John Part, you know, uh, Bristow, name all these. No. Yeah, maybe one day they, they they will just read our names back in in, in statistics in in magazines or whatever. And uh, yeah, new people will uh, will will start entertaining uh, the new darts heroes. Raymond, I think you're underselling yourself there. First of all, <laughs> kick off. Um, just a quick one about the 07 final. Yeah. When it obviously happened, it became the greatest game of darts. In my opinion, it's probably the reason why, personally, I got into the sport. Yeah. Um, do you miss the World Championships being at the tavern? And do you think that that game very much just sent darts into um, the stratosphere? Yeah, but uh, point, of, point of view is, of course, um, Every organisation wants to, wants to earn money, and, and when you can grow, uh, the, grow the, the sport grows, the money grows. That means that you can pay your, your 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 players better and more, and that's that's the reason why they went to to bigger venues. Sometimes uh, I said to myself, maybe on, on smaller venues I was maybe better, you know, like Lakeside, like the Circus Tavern, uh, all these tournaments. The, the stages were, were more compact and, and smaller than 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 now. We have we have things we have to deal with um, on the bigger stages. More people uh, wouldn't say you're going to play better, right? Um, and I, 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 I struggle with that for the, for the last years. It's, it's so hard to focus on a crowd compared like 500 or a thousand uh, compared to to, to 10,000 say in Rotterdam and with all the pressure with with the old Dutch Orange Army. But you mentioned Rotterdam there. That was my next question. I was going to ask. Do you think that? Despite the fact you're not there next year, do you still think the orange t-shirts are going to still be there? Do you still think the Barney Army are going to be in full voice? Because good. it was an amazing, yeah, good, amazing good, reception. Good question. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think sales is, is already still still busy at the moment. But what I've been told was that the last two, three years, within 10 minutes, within a half hour, the, 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 already the tickets will be sold. And I, I don't think it's happening now. So I, I still believe that... You know, if, if I want to see Ronaldo or, or, or Messi, yeah, which I'm a big fan of, both, um, I want to see Messi when he's not injured, right? If I know before I'm going to go Barcelona and watching Messi, but he's not playing, I go two weeks later. You know? It's the same with Van Barneveld and Taylor, you know? I don't know if, if they're still going to dress up in orange, because no player will play in orange. Uh, Michael is playing, obviously, in, 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 in green. And I don't know, maybe, maybe it will be different. And I'm not there anyway, not, not for a promotional match or promotional stuff because I booked a cruise uh, last year already just before the, um, the schedule of the Premier League came out. Uh, I've never been approached by the PDC or Dutch television to be there that night, so I, I just booked a cruise and uh, I'm not there. Well, it's a shame that you're not there, but I just wanted to ask one final quick one before I let uh, the other guy from the, the other guys come down this one. Do you realise just how much you've done for the sport as you walk away? And when the time does come, be it January the 1st or sooner, when that game shot and match always comes in, what, what will that emotion be like upon that Alexander Palace stage for you? I think that needs to come, you know. At the moment, I still feel myself as a, as a, as a sportsman who, who needs to believe in things and, and looking forward to the World Championship and, and try to do all it's possible to, to, to lift that trophy. After that, um, call it the afterlife, you know, and, and then I think one day the, the, the moment and the real, real, realization comes that, that what I've done for the sport and what I've done for myself and my family and my country. Uh, I don't feel it yet, but I'm pretty sure that that time will come, that day will come. We can't wait to watch it. Thank you, Raymond, as always. Just, just two from me. What, what in your career would you miss when they retire at the end of the year? What, what will you miss?
practice. Winning. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, guys. There was nothing uh, better than than winning. Um, I like I like to share with you. I was never ever good on school or never ever good in football or in taekwondo. All I did in my whole life, I played. I was bad. And then suddenly I lifted up three darts, and then it went well. And then everyone around me was like, huh? Huh? I hit three tens. I hit three tens on on the tactics, you know. 314s and then my dad and my uncle were looking at each other like hmm, what's this and then because of a lot of effort and a lot of things I did and worked hard but you have to believe you have to believe in things you have to have your 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 dreams and dreams can come through as long as you believe in it and work hard which I did I done it all you know I can never ever regret that that I you know we, we saw tennis players like Ivan Lendl he probably the best player of his era and, and he never won Wimbledon right I always can say I won the world championship five times four times at the BDO one times uh, in, in, in the PDC uh, and against the best player ever Phil Taylor so uh, I feel I feel really proud on that of course you wanted you wanted to win more winning is never ever boring right uh, winning will, will never ever gets 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 bad but if you're losing every single time, every single week, like sometimes three, four times a week, you can deal with it a week, you can deal with it a month, but you can't deal with it for months and years, you know? And if you never win tournaments, not even a pro tour in five years time, yeah, you don't believe in it anymore. There's no motivation anymore. And then you can better pack in than, than try to qualify for all these tournaments. It got kicked out first or second rounds. I'm, 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 I'm too much of a winner to do this. And then, then I, I keep it to myself and said this this is it and you're gonna see me back in the in entertainment circuit you know like exhibitions and, 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 and all kinds of stuff maybe on TV I don't know yet maybe starting a school and, and, and helping talented players that's what I love I, I will always love darts and it brought me the, where I'm, I've, I've been now and uh, as a really proud man but hurt it as well you know uh, this last year I will never forget and I will never ever forgive myself and uh, why I still don't know I tried to find out <laughs> in, in terms of missing out on the Grand Slam final last month we, we got it to miss out on that and was all preparation geared towards the world as a result the Grand Slam yeah in terms of the Grand Slam in terms of missing out on that playing, playing yeah the but final to, to be fair you know I, I don't understand things as well not not in organizing stuff you know how can you organize a, a, a tournament like in, in in Amsterdam and then one day later you have to qualify on a Monday in in, in Wigan right mm, so yeah. that means on a Sunday I played the finals there I got beat in the quarterfinals then the next day on Monday they want me to be on the plane with all due respect I could have delays uh, my suitcase never ever turn up one day that could happen as well you don't need this extra information or panic when you when you want to play a qualifier right so to me uh, I thought it was was, was was unbelievable that they didn't organize this on a Tuesday one day later and, and, and some things I, I I can't cope with you know and that's why I don't went to that to do the qualifiers be, just because of that yeah, cheers. Thank you very much.